Hey, Coach E here from Precision Movement. And today I'm gonna show you three quick tips to fix elbow pain from pull-ups and chin-ups. And just real quick before we get into it, this is a new casual style YouTube video that we're gonna be publishing regularly to cover topics like this. It's different than a lot of our previous stuff, which is very comprehensive, longer, goes in depth into topics, the anatomy and everything. So if you've got any ideas on short little videos that you'd like us to do, topics to cover, then just leave them in the comments down below. We'll read through and we'll pick out some and we'll do some videos on it. All right, so let's get into this video. Pull-ups and chin-ups very commonly cause elbow pain, especially in the medial epicondyle area, also known as golfer's elbow. And we've got a video, I'll link it up here that you can check out for more information on that. But if you're doing a lot of pull-ups and chin-ups, this area gets overused. And the first tip is gonna be the most important for you. If you grab the bar, and if you're at a bar, go ahead and grab it and just look at your wrist. You can see here, my wrist is flexed. When the wrist is flexed, that shortens the muscles in the forearm and causes more stress to go through this medial epicondyle area through the tendons that all attach in there. The solution, and tip number one is to start off in neutral wrist or even a slight bit of extension. And from there, you grab the bar, nice strong grip, and you do your pull-ups or your chin-ups. It applies the same way to chin-ups. Tip number one, wrist neutral or slightly extended. Tip number two, Shoulder external rotation. So external rotation, if I'm doing pull-ups, my hands are here, shoulder external rotation is like that. So I want to use that force to activate or do that movement to activate the external rotators, which is gonna involve more shoulder musculature and take some of the stress off the elbow. So I'm not gonna be moving, but I'm gonna be thinking, turning my biceps to face backwards when I'm doing the pull-up I got extended wrist and I'm going. So I'm keeping that external rotation force going the whole time, all the way up and all the way down. So that's tip number two. The third tip is something that I teach when I teach people pull-ups and chin-ups. And hopefully you know this one, but if you don't, the third tip is control. Instead of your chin-ups and pull-ups looking like this, all over the place using momentum, going half range, dropping fast, catching yourself. You wanna be smooth and under control. So grab that bar, extended wrist or neutral wrist, get that external rotation force going right off the bat and all the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. Now you might find that if you add any or all of these tips, you won't be able to do as many pull-ups or chin-ups than if you do it your old way. But if your old way is causing pain, that's gonna put you on the shelf for weeks or even months, and you're gonna regress a lot more because of injury and pain than doing it properly and being able to progress without a break. So there you have three quick tips to fix elbow pain from a lot of pull-ups and chin-ups. Let me know if you liked it. Hit the like button. And if you have any topics that you'd like to cover, you'd like us to cover, drop them in the comments below and we'll check them out. And finally, before you go, we've got some other resources that you can check out. There's a video over here. Check that one out. Some unique exercises there. We've got the golfer's elbow video over here. And finally, if you don't have ROM Coach, our mobile app, get that. There's a routine called Elbow Pain One. So go download ROM Coach, add that routine to your calendar and get started. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you next time. Peace.